Newcomers and longtime residents alike will soon be able to learn about the people, places, and events that shaped Montezuma County into the community that it is today. You're watching the Local News Network, brought to you by Whole Health Family Medicine and True West Auto. I'm Wendy Graham Settle. The Montezuma County Historical Society will soon open the doors of its new, long-awaited history museum, thanks to $365,000 in donations from Southwest Colorado residents, business, and foundations. Located in the old Montezuma County Social Services Office at 35 South Chestnut Street in Cortez, the museum will provide a permanent home for the Society's collections of artifacts, historical photos, family histories, and other memorabilia. Longtime Society board members and fourth-generation Montezuma County residents Ann Brown and David Everett said the museum represents nearly 60 years of effort to find a location to tell the community's story. My great-grandfather came here in the early years, right after the Civil War, uh, helped to, to uh, discover some of the cliff dwellings at Mesa Bird, uh, ran pack trips for tourists up to Mesa Bird, uh, and was the first elected sheriff in the county. Uh, it's just home. We have roots that are deep in this family, or in this county, and we want to help tell those stories. The Society's collections have been on display, if you could call it that, in borrowed spaces since the 1950s, when they were first tucked away in the basement of the old city hall on Main Street. They've traveled to the library, then the senior center, to the basement of the former courthouse downtown, and to former granges. When the county built a new justice center and remodeled the old courthouse into an administration building, the social services building became available, and the county agreed to a 30-year lease with the Historical Society for a dollar. That was in 2018, and fundraising began in earnest with Joe Keck and Ed Merritt as campaign chairs. I have been raising funds for museums and historic sites for 40 years, and I have never encountered a more supportive community and area before. Never. Uh, it's been amazing. The building will have a meeting space for presentations, rooms for both permanent and rotating displays, and storage for archives and artifacts. Design elements include a color palette that reflects the Southwest Colorado environment, and wood from an old flume that once carried irrigation water into the valley. This wood is left over from the flume out east of Cortez. You know, the Historic Preservation Board went to work with the Historical Society to restore that flume. There were 100 of them throughout the, the uh, irrigation district. This was number 60 out by the fairgrounds and this wood was left over. So we were able to pick up some of that wood and use it throughout our building, our reception desk and this archway, and then there is a, a frame of flume wood around the entrance to our meeting room. The Historical Society, with the assistance of a professional museum designer, will spend the summer planning and installing displays that will tell the Montezuma County story, from the ancestral Puebloans to the native peoples who next inhabited the region, to the Spanish explorers, miners, cattle ranchers, and pioneers. We still have 35,000 to go, and any of the money that comes in now is going to transform this empty building, uh, transform all the walls, every corner, uh, into a, a real, uh, hopefully compelling museum that really tells the stories, all the stories of Montezuma County and kind of the surrounding area too. You can make a donation to help preserve Montezuma County's history at the museum's website at montezumamuseum.org. The museum is expected to open with all its displays by late summer. In the meantime, the public will have an opportunity to see the work completed on the building to date with a sneak peek on Saturday, May 22nd. Thanks for watching the Local News Network, serving Montezuma County, Durango, Pagosa Springs, Telluride, and Farmington, New Mexico. I'm Wendy Graham Settle.